Let's write a C program to find NPR factorial of n and r. Here p means permutations. It's like probability, how likely something can happen. Okay. So the formula for NPR factorial is NPR is equal to n factorial division n minus r factorial. Please write this down. So let's see the definition of NPR factorial. The number of possibilities for choosing an ordered set of r objects, it's a permutation, from a total of n objects. Okay. So assume that there are three people namely A, B and C in a park but there is only two seats available for them then possible ways of people who can sit on the seat using permutation is A, B, B, A, A, C, C, A, B, C and C, B that is six ways people can sit on the seat. There are this A, B, C is three which is N there are two possibilities that is two seats so R is two. The result is there are six objects inside this resultant set. So PNR, uh, NPR is six. So substitute the value of N and R and you will get six as answer. So with this minimal knowledge of NPR factorial, let's, la let's get started and write our C program. Tongue twisters, <laughs> NPR, NCR. So I'll ask the user to enter positive integer numbers for n and r. So also you can learn about NCR factorial, the link to which is present on your computer screen right now. Please go and watch that too. Okay. So I'll store the user entered values inside the address of integer variables, 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 n and r. So the formula is NPR is equal to n factorial division n minus r factorial. Right. So let's make use of a function called factorial now npr is equal to factorial of n which returns the factorial of n division factorial of n minus r which ret which which returns the factorial of n minus r let me write printf statement and display the result also so npr factorial of percentage d and percentage d is percentage the first percentage d corresponds to n second percentage d corresponds to the value of r and the last one corresponds to the result that is npr okay this factorial returns we have division here so we are we have taken npr variable as floating point value don't get confused with npr we are returning the value from factorial so it's an integer type value so return type will be int it's taking an argument of type integer so i take a local variable num which is of type integer so please go and visit the link i'm showing you on your computer screen where we have explained in detail about uh, calculating factorial of a number using iterative logic okay so count is initialized to one this for loop iterates until count is less than or equal to num for each iteration of this for loop count value increments by one so fact is equal to previous value of fact into count so we have taken fact as one and not zero because zero multiplied with any number will give a result of zero so we should it shouldn't happen like that multiplication with one doesn't alter the value so we have taken initial value of fact as one so outside this for loop we return the value of fact so please visit the link I'm showing you on, on your computer screen without fail. So NPR is floating point value. So I need to specify percentage F, which is format specifier for floating point values. Uh, 0 0.2 because we need only two digits after the decimal place. Okay. I'll give three and two. It gives six as we saw in the explanation. Okay, 6 and 2, it should give 30 permutations and it's working. That's great. So let me show the same logic using recursive function. Okay, the logic is explained in detail in the link I'm showing you on your computer screen. Please watch that. Okay, so I'll return num into factorial of this is recursive call factorial of num minus 1 so here if num means if num is not equal to 0 okay 
So else means if num is equal to 0, in that case return 1 because 0 factorial is 1. Remember this 0 factorial is not 0, 0 factorial is 1. So we need to return 1. So this is how we do, we, can, we get the factorial of a number using recursive function. Let's check the result. I'll give 3 and 2, 3 for n and 2 for r. The permutation that is NPR factorial is 6. Let me even write this in a single line of code using a recursive function and ternary operator or conditional operator. Okay, So condition is num not equal to 0. In that case, return this. So if num is 0, 0 factorial is 1, so return 1. That's it. So let me remove this. Oops. So let me compile and run this program. Let me give the same numbers so that you could check the result. So 3, 2 is 6. So let me write the prototype, the standard way of doing it. So let me cut this off from here. Such a compact logic, right? To calculate NPR factorial of N and R. So verify it by executing it once again, give 3 and 2. The NPR factorial should be 6. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends using WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. And please visit the links I am sure I showed you on your computer screen to calculate factorial. We have explained in detail how to calculate factorial using iterative as well as using recursive logic. I am showing the links again on your computer screen. Please visit it and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.